My name is Selena Harrington. I work in the IANA department at ICANN, and I'm here to give, um, hopefully, a very brief update on our recent activities. I'm actually doing the opposite of what Jorge did. My slides are in Spanish, but I'm going to be presenting in English, and I've never done this before, so hopefully it will go okay. Um, some of the things that I'm going to talk about today are audits, our performance standards reports, new GTLD delegations, our customer service survey, our TCR, which is the Trusted Community Representatives um, review that we, or consultation we recently held, um, and also the global policy implementation related to the one that Jorge spoke about, um, the allocation of returned IPv4 addresses. So we recently um, completed successfully our first audit of the IANA registry systems. Um, it's the first time we've done this. We're going to be doing it annually. Um, it's actually a complement to an audit that we've been doing for the last several years um, of our root DNS sec uh, ceremonies. Now, if you visit this link that are on the next few slides, it's IANA.org slash performance, you can find all of our performance reports um, for the three areas that we, or three service areas that we, um, that we have, which are protocol parameters, root management, and also internet number resources. Let's see. We also have an audit report of our root zone changes. So as you can see in this one, um, if you go to this report, you can see there was a change request for .pr. Um, they, up, they made several changes to name servers, and it lists the host names of the name servers that were changed. We also include um, performance stats related to internet number requests. And what we're really looking at and tracking are two things, which is um, accuracy. Did we implement the changes that you asked us to implement? And then also timeliness, our end-to-end -end processing time for your requests. Another thing that's been keeping us extremely busy um, for the past several months are new GTLD delegations. Um, I think the first ones were completed in November or late October, and since then over 250 have been delegated, which is approximately 10 a week, um, which is actually a pretty big increase. Uh, typically we were getting 30 to 40 root management change requests each month, and now that's increased to about 80, so it's kind of doubled. We also uh, recently did a customer service uh, survey, and we got overwhelmingly positive results. Um, we did obviously get some, some feedback and, and you know, areas that we could improve on, and that's why we do, we do these surveys. And the next one we, that we do this year, um, we're going to try to increase the participation. We also held a consultation recently about the current model of our trusted community representatives. The TCRs are um, individuals, volunteers, who come to our root KSK signing ceremonies. And we asked several questions in this consultation, including what do we do if a TCR is going to retire? How do we replace them? Um, should they be compensated? They haven't been compensated in the past. They've had to you know, foot their own bill to get to these events. And some of them travel quite long distances. So there were several questions that we asked. We received a lot of feedback and comments and are now reviewing those comments and we'll be posting a report once uh, the review is complete. And then finally, um, we've been working on implementing the global policy that's um, related to the allocation of returned IPv4 addresses. We actually set up a new uh, registry, I think it was last year, um, and the, that first link is where you can find the registry. Uh, several RIRs returned address space to us, and we have a pool of a little bit of over 20 million addresses. And as soon as the first RIR R notifies us that they're down to their last slash nine, we're going to allocate uh, address space back to each RIR. And we developed a tool to select the addresses, which you can actually test out. We published it online. It's that last link at the bottom of the page. And what's going to happen is we'll be allocating what is the equivalent of a slash 11 to each RIR as soon as, you know, basically the pool is declared active. And we expect that to happen very soon because um, a couple of the RIRs are getting really, really close to slash 9. 
And I think that's all I have. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you, Selena.